Jessica says, what if he's depressed and feeling down? So he backs off with the communication. That means that you back off too. And the question is, we we're going back to the same thing, right? Like, are you committed? Right. There's two, there's two worlds that you can be in. One is the world of dating and the other world is the world of commitment. And everything up until commitment is just dating, right? So all of these things where you are exclusive, where you call each other boyfriend, girlfriend, where you're meeting each other's parents, where you're, you know, going on vacation together, where you're, you know, doing all this stuff. That's all dating until he looks at you and says, you're it. You're the only one I want. Let's do this. Right. And he verbally tells you and shows you with his actions that he wants to be with you and only you until he does that you're in dating mode and you should be dating multiple people. You should be in abundance, at least date two or three people at a time and make sure that you're only getting with men. Don't attach yourself to any man, only get with men who are proving to you that they are the kind of man that wants to be in the type of relationship that you want to be in. And if that's not what's going on in your situation, I don't know anything about your situation, Jessica. So maybe you guys are committed, but if you are committed, then you should back off. Absolutely. When he's feeling down, if, cause some people, they take things differently. And, and generally speaking, this isn't true for all men and women, but Generally speaking, men, when they're having issues and they're having problems, they tend to go into their man cave, right? And need to deal things out, you know, by themselves. And women, they tend to want to talk things out and have discussions and stuff like that. And you have to respect his way of connecting and communicating. Otherwise, you're, he's going to feel like you're smothering him and he's going to need even more space and then he's going to lose attraction for you. And so you want to give him space if he asks for it. You want to give him space if he, if he needs it, right? If, if that, if his pattern is that he gets depressed and then he needs some space, you should give him that space when he gets depressed. And if you're not in a committed relationship, you should be seeing other people.